Today, I am going to talk about accidental home poisonings in children and how to prevent it. So, commonly in children, more than 3 million of children will be exposed to accidentally home poisonings. So, whether it is intentional or unintentional, but more than 90% of these children, they occur in the home surroundings, especially in the kitchens, bedrooms. So, it is important for us to talk about these issues and it is important for us to know how to prevent them. So, here prevention is the most important thing. There are many chances for a child at the home to be exposed for this type of poisonings. So, how to prevent them? The most important and the most useful thing is uh, we need to keep these medicines or keep these chemicals or detergents or poisons they need to be kept away from the children and they need to be out of reach for the children first thing second thing they need to have a safety latches or locked cabins the third important thing is we need to store them in the original containers do not store them in the food containers especially the water bottles there are some liquids which look alike with the water and you store them in the water bottles and the child might think that it is a water so they may drink it and it is also important for the containers to be properly labeled and whenever there are certain medicines which are being used by the elderly people or when you are using some medicine it is important to note the expiry date of those medicines and if you are not using discard them or if there is any medicine which has been not used for a longer time you need to discard them always check the medicine composition especially this is important for the fever medicines the paracetamol it is available in many formulations paracetamol drops paracetamol syrups paracetamol tablets so when a doctor prescribes paracetamol you need to know that paracetamol drops has a different composition and paracetamol syrup has a different composition so whenever we are giving certain medication please make sure that the composition is appropriate so these things needs to be kept in the mind whenever we are dealing with the children in our house to prevent the accidental or unintentional poisonings or unintentional toxicities in the home. Thank you.